This month, let's look at testing BGA terminations for solderability. There really is no other way of doing this with existing techniques, and this simple to run process test works very well for all forms of BGA component. First, get some small glass microscope slides. Select your stencil with the same apertures as the BGA or area array you want to test. Print the solder paste you're currently using onto the glass slides. Place the BGA upside down with the balls facing up on a flat surface. Align the paste deposit on the glass slides with the balls. Lower it onto the package. Quickly lift and turn the package upside down. If it's a plastic package, they only weigh two to three grams, so the surface tackiness of the paste will allow you to do this successfully. Then place the board with the glass microscope slides on the surface into your reflow process. Run it through the complete process using the same profile you're currently running for that product where you're experiencing BGA solderability issues. Under magnification, look through the glass to make sure that all the solder paste has reflowed and formed with the BGA ball. There should be no evidence of solder left behind, just flux holding the part to the glass slide. If it's a ceramic BGA with high temperature balls, the solder will still have wetted, or should have done, all the high temperature balls and still not left any solder on the surface of the glass. This is a very simple solderability wetting test for BGA or any other area array package and works very successfully to give you an indication whether you have a process problem or a component solderability issue.